Hey, what's going on guys? James here, Sports Betting Education Channel. I've got your free pick winner for you in just a second. But first, let's go over yesterday's results. We went two and one in our free plays. I put out three free picks. Of course, this is the first day of the new system where we're doing one free play each day. And then we have the premium card. If you're interested in that premium card, $25, it gets you all three picks, the write-ups, the reasoning behind me pulling the triggers on the picks, and then a little bit of coaching on money management, of course. Money management, statistics, math, and just understanding how to, you know, how to game plan your plays for the day, how to use math and statistics to your advantage to give yourself an edge. It's not about just going out there making a pick, betting on it, and it's a winning pick, you run money. I mean, if you can create a combination of plays and you can wager certain amounts here, maybe a little bit in a long shot bet, put 20% of your bankroll into, you know, a favorite bet, things like that. And not your bankroll, but what the amount you're betting that day. You, you can focus on winning each day. And if you win five out of seven days a week, even if you're just only gaining 1% of your bankroll with some of those wins, and you're just chipping away and slowly climbing, that's when you're going to see huge returns at the end of the year and huge returns at the end of, you know, betting on sports for a decade. I really think if, if people know what they're doing, and they've been betting on sports for decades, they should have tremendous wealth to show for it. Now, obviously, I'm a younger handicapper, I'm newer in the game, but I'm very confident that long term, sports betting is going to lead to generational wealth for all of my ancestors. I don't know if ancestors is the right word for all of my family tree beneath me, right? So I love sports betting. I think there's tremendous opportunity in it. I'll talk about that in another video, but we went two and one yesterday. We've got four plays today. One of them is your free pick. It's between the Houston Astros and Toronto Blue Jays. Huge pitching mismatch here. We're going to go for that first half run line, Houston minus half the run. So we're going to say that Houston's going to be winning the game at the end of five runs. So if you look at the pitchers in this one, we've got Framber Valdez uh, pitching for the Houston Astros. He's rocking a 2.73 ERA. So he's put out a lot of quality starts this season. And I think we get one here against a lesser opponent, Toronto Blue Jays team. Also, when you look at the Blue Jays lineup, obviously Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is their big bat. He got hit by a pitch yesterday, guys. He's, he's, I'm not expecting him to play in this one. I'd be surprised if he did. So that's working to our advantage as well. Then you look at Clayton Richard, who is pitching for the Blue Jays as well. He's only had four career starts, and he hasn't gotten out of the fourth inning in any of them. So this guy doesn't even pitch in the fifth inning. He hasn't pitched in the fifth inning in four starts. He's coming off of a 2.2 innings pitched, uh, seven earned run performance. So two and two-thirds innings pitched, seven earned runs. That's what this guy's last outing looked like uh, against the Arizona Cardinals or Arizona Diamondbacks. Don't know why I said that. I've been studying a lot for the football season. Um, but he, he got rocked by the D-backs. I think the same thing happens with Houston. I know Houston's missing three significant players. I'm going to see Jose Altuve play for the Round Rock Express tonight. I'm really pumped about it. Secured my tickets. Going to drive uh, up to the stadium tonight. But in their absence... Uh, Jordan Alvarez has really stepped it up. He's got three home runs in the last four games, and he's kind of, you know, igniting this Houston offense. I think we see some explosion out of them. I think they score, you know, at least a couple of runs in the first five innings, and I think Houston's winning this game after five runs. So your free play. Also, one more, st one more thing I have in my notes here. Houston has the third highest OPS versus left-handed pitchers. When you compare that to Toronto, they're the fifth worst in the league against left-handed pitchers. So everything's really working for us when you evaluate these lineups against the left-handed pitching, against the starting pitching that each team's rolling out. So we have a huge mismatch in our favor. There's a ton of value in taking Houston minus half the run in the first half. So we're going to say Houston is holding lead after five innings. That's your free play. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you want to hop on the premium package, of course, just DM me on Instagram. If you have any questions or you want to share you know, your prediction for today, just comment in the comment sections below. I look forward to interacting with you guys. Super excited. It's a great time to be alive. It's a great time to be on the Sports Betting Education channel and following Bet with James on Instagram. I'm just feeling blessed. I'm feeling excited and I'm thankful. I'm thankful for all of your support. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. And we've put this 12 and 4 run together. It's amazing. It's brilliant. And hopefully we can get four winners today, starting with this Houston Astros game. So thank you guys for your support. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video and I look forward to interacting with you on social media.